So it's currently 5.30 and I am going on a little trip. So I'm gonna take the kids with me, a little excursion. I literally just went through TSA. They get on my nerves. So I'm ready to just go get my Starbucks and go about my business because I swear every time I go through TSA, they just piss me off. Oh. My nail appointment is at 3.30, so right now it's 11.30, so that gives us a little time to go check in, grab a little food, because they didn't eat us shit. Wait, I was at the wrong terminal. Oh, at the wrong I'm station. i <laughs> okay. We have to take a shuttle bus to okay. the Uber, because the area that we were in, they don't pick up Ubers. So what did the guys say? They don't pick up Ubers over here? Just for the buses. Oh. And like for people that pick them up, like like family pickups. Yeah, yeah, they don't pick up buses. Huh? This is a 1B. Oh Lord. Let's recap on what happened since this afternoon. I attempted to get my nails done and my nail tech, she has a booking site. I was able to book on a website. And as everyone says, LA has lots of traffic. So we were stuck in traffic. We wasn't even in traffic to be honest. Like we were literally running 15 minutes late. The location that she sent me was not able to be found. Like we were trying to find where she was located. We the the lift driver dropped us he off. Was at the wrong spot. He dropped us off at the wrong stop. But I knew something was off because he was like, he was like, is this good enough? Yeah. Once they say is this spot good enough, they don't know where the fuck they at. He ended up dropping us off. We were looking for the location and it was nowhere to be found. By the time we looked back at the phone, because I ended up writing her on Instagram because my phone died. I wrote her on Instagram. What time she wrote me? Like, at, my appointment was at 3.30, and she wrote me back at like 3.40 something. Three, no, no, actually like 3.50. 3.50, and she was like, yeah, hey, unfortunately, you're, you're 12 minutes late, so I'm gonna have to reschedule you for another day. So I'm just like, like, I literally took a cab. First of all, I was traveling from New York to come get my nails done from you. 
obviously I'm in town so I'm not leaving today but the point of the matter is that my intention was to get my nose done by you today so I came straight off the plane to the hotel <laughs> and then I attempted to go to get my nails done um I don't know if she wanted me to bring my suitcase either way she didn't really show any interest uh, as far as like when I told her that I was flying in so there was no common decency when it came to like me being a customer and she pretty much told me that um, she is not able to refund my $25. She offered to reschedule me and I just didn't respond because I was just so pissed. My thing is, if you book someone for a certain time and they're 10 to 15 minutes late, you shouldn't cancel their appointment. You should let them wait at least. Like give them a grace period at least because there's traffic, you know, life is happening. There's so many different factors. She doesn't take any type of uh, digital money. So like you have to bring cash. So ideally I had to go get cash just to pay her. So how was I supposed to get there in time and still like, it, it just didn't make sense. Like I'm just like, maybe I was supposed to just like come straight from the airport in order to get my nails done on time. She just didn't have any consideration for like the fact that you were coming from far away and you messaged her to tell her that you were going to be a little bit late mm -hmm. and she still stuck to her whole 12 minutes policy of if you're 12 minutes late then you have to get canceled your, your appointment has to be canceled so. right day but so. i did come across this black business you're walking and this lady she has her own boutique she creates her own <laughs> she creates her own designs thank you and i've seen this dress on a mannequin okay so i think i lost her business card unfortunately but i'm definitely gonna look for it i'm a huge fan of creative individuals and i came across this boutique and what i liked it was the fact that she only makes one of each item put together this design i'm gonna try it on because it probably looks crazy on camera but it's really long but i really love the fact that it's unique and it's one of those items that like you're not gonna find anywhere else so i had to get it i got that as a way of uh, i guess treating myself you did it so thank you <laughs> we went to the dispensary and it was really cool. Um, I didn't record because I just, it's not necessary. Like this is my second time coming to LA. So going to a dispensary is really like normal at this point. It's really quick and easy. You know, you give your ID, you go downstairs, you pick your strain, they back it up. They actually educate you on what the strains are. Like it's not like your local bud man. You say the bud man be lying. The bud man be lying. Because they will say whatever. They'll say this is the this is the high quality one. Mm -hmm. This one costs fifty dollars, and you smoke it, and it's, it's the same. As it's the trash. Quality. Yeah. Yes. I said I was gonna get a, a tray, but I decided to get a tray. So I got this Goku. Is this Goku? And then <laughs> Russian cream, of course. It's my favorite. So we're gonna go smoke. Talk to you guys later. I've been up since like four because I went to bed really early. I have a tendency of going to bed really, really early. Before on the trip, it's been a very interesting rodeo. I've been like trying to find someone else to do my nails, but at this point, I feel like I'm supposed to just pop on some press ons and go about my business. Went to the beach yesterday. I didn't vlog because I didn't have like a big bag, so I'm actually gonna go to Target and get me a bigger bag to keep my camera on the side because I have like these really small bags but 
I probably like need like a nice little tote bag to throw everything in, especially if we're going to the beach and stuff. Then we're gonna go get some breakfast and um, figure out what we're gonna do for the rest of the day. Tomorrow is 420, so tomorrow's gonna be a little bit more um, people. I know there's a lot of people in town. Like yesterday, we attempted to go to this brunch spot and it was mad people. It was so much people where there was like a long ass line outside. So we just ended up going to uh, <laughs> Chipotle. And the trip has been really chill. I'm really excited to see what the rest of the trip has in store for us. But yeah, we just been chilling. <laughs> Don't really believe I was going to play last week, but so much more. Drink for the moment? Yes, orange juice. Please. One orange? Yeah. Uh, uh, same as well? Uh, apple juice, three. Apple juice, three. Right. Let me come back right now and okay. take you guys over. Okay, thank you. Thank you. because I really needed a brow product that came in blonde. So this is the box that it comes in. I bought it from Target. And this is in the color uh, brownish. It's supposed to be like for blonde hair. Okay. So one side you can twist up, shade in, and then the other side is like a brow, a brow, um, we call it like a brush on brow product. I'm gonna use some concealer and clean up the bottom of my eyes. But I'm gonna use like a lighter concealer. I usually use Fawn, but I'm gonna use pure beige at the bottom of my eyes so that you can actually see the blonde. Okay, so started highlighting the bottom. And I'm gonna go in with my actual foundation. I just recently got the Nars foundation because I was just tired of I was just tired, okay? So I got it in the color New Selen New Selen Dolia I'm using the Fenty Beauty Primer I think this is like the poreless primer Oh 
Oh damn. Right in the middle of the street like that? She was like, I can't hold this shit in. And you won't clean it up. Ugh. You wanna go on? Okay, so now the sun is coming out, but I'm hungry as hell. At first it was like a little chilly, so I threw on my jean jacket just in case, because I'm always cold. <laughs> Okay, so a few things. Can I get two strawberry size light ice with lemonade? With lemonade? What size? Venti, please. Venti, strawberry size with lemonade. No strawberry. And no strawberries in there. And that's on both? Sorry, light ice on both, both yeah. Of them? Okay. Thank you so much. So they really appreciate the masks as well. Aww. And we do um, recommend that if we do want to enjoy a snack today, be sure to just pull on over to the side somewhere, socially distance, and enjoy your snack. Have a great day. Enjoy your day, my friends. Have fun. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Come along. <laughs> 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 he looks hungry. Did it really just be huddled up for there? Mm-hmm. Chilling. Is that the same one that was on the court? Oh, there's more than one. This is not trash, like. How the hell am I supposed to see from this far? Can't see me. I look like a chocolate chip in the sun. All right. Yes. So we've been walking and running out of air. That is all. Gotta make sure you got everything with me. Mm -hmm. Throw some of them in there? Nah. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to make sure everything is in our bags and not like that water. <laughs> Have it. For this, this is what day two of wearing my nails. No, she did a really bad job, and this is not even like gel X. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Lord, can't yeah, wait to talk about this. Shit. Right. Gel X. Day two. Let's try. Oh, I'm gonna tell you twice. 